6 T45 uh, with the start stop feature. This one has a code for pressure control solenoid 2, only shifts 1 2. Take our fill plug out. Thirteen millimeters on our transfer tube. Thirteen millimeters on the start stop motor. Eight millimeters on the pan. Ten millimeter on this bracket it should have been taken off out at the vehicle. All right, our speed sensor has been smashed. Somebody's had the pan off, obviously before, so. We're going to get a speed sensor for this. Push this tab over. That'll allow you to release the neutral switch. Eight millimeter on the detent. <coughs> Seven millimeters on the Tecum. <coughs> speed sensor ten millimeters on the rest of the Tecum this uh, also so we're gonna have to get this thermal element we'll take this dam off take all the tins out <coughs> He's always put the Sonax kit in them, the zip kit. So we'll be putting a zip kit in this. Pull the plate off. 10 millimeter for our speed sensor. This is the output speed sensor. Pull our rubber plugs out of here. Thirteen millimeters on the bell housing.
set that off to the side for the momentary. Looks like it's a Gen 3, so we're probably going to be buying a pump. Alright, let's push this out just a little bit and check our chain. That is pretty loose. So, we're going to need our chain. Look at our diff. Make sure our pinions look okay. Our bearing in here feels okay. Our spider gears, it all looks okay. We got a washer and a bearing here. Pull our gears off. Check our bearing here. Feels okay. Look at our teeth where the chain rides and make sure it looks okay. Our bearing here. You want to check this surface and see if it's worn down. If it is, there is a kit that you can buy to fix that. Pull our baffle off. Other transfer gear. okay I broke the baffle here so we're gonna need a baffle uh, the case is broken right here uh, we can probably salvage that if that's the only place it's broken at eight millimeters here broke here also uh, pressure plates broke I don't know that we're gonna be building this one we'll go ahead and finish taking it apart take our park pole out take our snap ring out Get up around this thing. Snap ring's in the wrong spot, which is why it got broke. If it was only broken there, we can move the snap ring over. But since we're broken here also, there's gonna be nothing to support the snap ring, so we're gonna have to have a stinger case. It's wanting to hit on the case here. It's going to make this a little difficult. The snap ring's really stiff. So when you do get, get it start coming out, be careful that it doesn't fly up out of there and hit you in the face. imperative on these 6040s and 6F35s that the snap ring be put in the proper place. Bearing here. Check our sun gear. Check where our teeth go on our clutches. That's okay. See the snap ring, I mean the pressure plate's cracked in half right there. Our steels are no good. Our cushion plate looks to be okay. Pull our center support out. Well, 
I'll stick her planet out first. Everything looks okay there. Bearings. Looks okay. Sun gear looks okay. And our center support. I'm going to check these Belvo plates both sides and make sure they're not cracked. Usually this is the one that cracks here. I always put uh, pistons in mine. Now this is not thought it was. I'm going to try to come up pretty straight otherwise it's going to get stuck like it did just then. And it's pressure plate's broken also. It's having a hard time coming out. That's the first time I've seen that one broken. Check our sprag. Seems to be okay. bearings here shell looks okay Our drum make sure we're okay here looks okay. The only thing left in the case is the piston and the bevel plate. This snap ring's in the wrong spot also. Should be down here at the bottom like the other one. And even though our piston looks okay, it's getting replaced. Alright, that's a shame. We could have uh, probably rebuilt this if this case wasn't broken. I think we're going to get too expensive here with parts. Uh, we'll just we'll have to see if we get to rebuild it. We get to rebuild it. This drum here, when you take it out, you're going to want to push this piston down just far enough to to get the snap ring out. Otherwise, you're going to break your piston tab here, and you're going to break your drum. So be careful when you take that out. This 3-5 reverse cushion plate is horrible about breaking. Always replace it whether it looks good or not. And in the back, back here, is a small snap ring that will allow you to get your input shaft out. I usually let this sit and drain. We'll see how much it fills up with fluid because it keeps you from being able to see that snap ring and this one came out real easy not much fluid in the way I keep that snap ring off to the side so I don't lose it our hub looks okay okay and usually you can't get this snap ring out right here unless it's worn real bad without 
taking this piston out. snap rings off and our piston will come out return spring now we can get the snap ring out for the clutches okay snap ring, our molded balance piston, and return spring. Get this piston out, I just put it back in the case. Blow air through the passage over here, that'll pop the piston out. I'm not going to take the piston out because I think I'm going to be putting this right back together. Alright, let's see if we can get this over here get a look at our pump and I'll show you what goes bad on those. This baffle is broken also. And 10 millimeters Hold this baffle in. Thirteen millimeters hold the pump in. filter out now on this pump when it comes off of here this gasket that goes right here the last one that I got only came with the gen 1 um, sorry first design gen 3 gasket that goes here this whole pump assembly is different than you've seen before this chains awfully loose too so it only came with the first design gasket uh, don't try to reuse that gasket. Uh, the only, at that time, the only way to get this gasket was to buy the pump. And this valve that's in here, it is I believe it is this valve right here that wears out. Uh, Transgo does make a valve to repair that. However, Odds are this valve is going to be worn out, this chain's worn out, and I'm going to get the Gen 1 gasket. Uh, so I'm going to just order a pump. I seriously doubt we're going to get to build this one because all my baffles are broken. Two of my pressure plates are broken. It needs a pump, it needs a case. It's going to need pistons. Uh, it's probably gonna need a Tecum, needs an output speed sensor and a torque converter uh, the thermal valve that's that's a lot of parts to be buying I don't think we're gonna get to build this one but if we do we'll be back 